Today on the channel, we are talking about Freya's cats. If you did not know, the goddess of love and war, Freya, has gotten two cats, and those pull her chariot. In today's video, I will talk about the two cats. I will tell you the tale of them. I will discuss the symbolism about what they mean for us as individuals and us as a society. And I will talk about uh, talk a bit about my experiences with them. We know about these cats because they are mentioned in the prose and the poetic edda. The story goes that Thor, the god of thunder, was laying in a field. And he heard this beautiful singing. So beautiful, in fact, that it made him fall asleep. He had a beautiful and wonderful nap, and when he woke up, he came to see where it came from, and there was this cat, big cat. And he says, was it you who sang that song? And the cat says, yes, it was me. I'm here with my two, my two kittens, my two sons, and I was singing them to, she, to sleep. He told the god of thunder, he says, you know, I had an affair with their mother, but she left me. And now, I am a single parent to two small kittens. Thor asked if he could take care of the kittens. The names of the kittens were Baigol and Tregol. The dad was very pleased that Thor took the kittens and he gave them to Freya as a gift. These cats would grow up to pull her chariot. Now they actually were somewhat important in, in, in Germanic and Norm Norse fol folklore. They shown up on, on many pendants and, and many pieces of jewelry from the Viking Age. But what do they represent? What do these random facts and stories mean? Well, first off, Freya is the goddess of love. She's also associated with war. She's also associated with sex. She's also associated with cider. But primarily, her domain is love. And it's the cats who pull it forward. It is said that one cat symbolizes loyalty and the other cat symbolizes protection. Those are the two things that keep love moving forward. If we lend the symbolism from our Hindu friends, and if you look at the Bhagavad Gita, you know, the chariot could symbolize ourselves. The things that pull the chariot, which usually are horses, they represent our feelings. And the reins of the chariot is our mind. The symbolism in that is we should let our feelings power our journey here on earth. But we should not let them lead. We lead with our minds. So in this symbolism of Freya and her cats, love is nowhere without loyalty. Because love is, you know, as they say, very in the moment. I love you. I love you. Oh, it's so wonderful. It's great. It's beautiful. But you're not getting anywhere. If you want to pull your chariot that is you forward in life, you need to be loyal. Loyal to yourself and loyal to your goals. The other, protection. 
I like that. Love is nowhere without protection. Because in society you hear that a lot. You hear people say, I'm a lover, not a fighter. But if you are a lover, you should be a fighter. Because if you truly love what you love, you need to fight for it. You need to defend it so that it may continue to exist in a good way. Love needs protection. That's what I like about paganism. That's what I like about Germanic and Norse folklore. Other religions, they talk a lot about peace and love. They only talk about peace and love, but they seem to do a lot of burning down of villages of people who don't agree with them. But paganism is usually very honest. It says we have gods of war, but also gods of love makes it a very honest and balanced equation. Lessons are love is nowhere without loyalty and is nowhere without protection. Love must be protected. The reason, my friends, I am dressed up the way that I am today, I started a cider course about half a year ago, so I can call myself now a cider um, practitioner. I'm doing it at uh, Naomi Makrida's place. I'll, I'll link her in the description below for other people who also want to learn these old ways. But the truth is, I've been offering a lot. I've been offering today even some food and some drink for Freya's kittens. I've been introducing myself and speaking respectfully. I've told them that I, I, I do not wish to command, but with a loving heart, I bring these offerings. I could feel these two cats around me. It was so, it feels so warm and you feel so protected. And I think in that, experience lies the essence of protection and the essence of how to protect your love. I will share that of course with you because that's what I do on this channel. And that's why I wear these clothes to practice my cider magic as I was taught. So I traveled to these cats and when I felt that softness around me. You know, when somebody attacks you, <coughs> let's say it starts with some harsh words. They say, I don't like you, you're a piece of shit. They fire their arrows, you know, with a fiery tongue. You have the tendency to react, we all do. You want to say something back. You want to set the record straight. But here's the thing. The moment you open your mouth, in a way you've already lost. Because there's a dark and negative person surrounding you and the moment you give that interaction, you give your energy away, you push back. We see it in nature. When you push, there's always a push back. There's wind here tonight. The trees, they get pushed and they push back. As it is in nature, as it is with man. So the moment you start telling that internet troll what you truly feel about them, they've already won. The moment you start to push, it will automatically push back and you are in relationship with that person, whether you want it or not. When I was younger, 
they always used to tell me when you like have somebody around you who has like this really negative energy and it's really harsh you should visualize roses between the two of you you know why because a rose is lovely and the moment you start to get irritated by somebody there's this energy leak and your energy goes to the other person But when you see a rose, you see something lovely, your heart opens. And there's no longer the annoyance, and then there's no longer the energy leak. I think that's how Freya's cats work. They wrap around you with warmth, protection, and softness. So if there are people watching this who like, I don't like the term who work with gods, but who also practice cider or actively do energy work. If you're looking for protection, Freya's cats are the way to go. Hail Freya! <laughs>